Evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Mark Mullins. And I'm Amanda Starantino. First year at 6. Imagine being diagnosed with meningitis multiple times before learning there's something much deeper going on. Well, that was one woman's reality until doctors finally uncovered an answer. And now we are working to find a cure to her suffering, but unfortunately there's not yet a clear solution. RTV6's Troy Washington is working for you to shine light on the sickness that is sometimes misdiagnosed. Well, I've had meningitis since 2003, and it wasn't until 2015 that anyone put two and two together. It took 12 years for Anne Hyde to finally be diagnosed with Mollerade's meningitis, a chronic form of the sickness. So I've had meningitis every year, sometimes twice a year since 2003. That means years of struggling before finally finding out what was leading to the episodes. She's wearing a medical mask because she's worried about her immune system. But wearing one isn't necessary because of Mollerade's meningitis. And it's typically caused by a number of different viruses, but most commonly herpes viruses. It's an infection of the lining around the brain, not the brain itself. Dr. Cole Beeler describes the episodes as relapses. Half of patients can actually get uh, seizures, uh, blindness, temporary uh, nerve problems when these uh, infections are taking place. In Hyde's case, it's been rough over the years, even after the correct diagnosis. The meningitis is recurrent and usually resolves on its own over time, though the process is painful. I have had a constant headache since August 23rd. She says it's such a hassle that she can't even work. In fact, she hasn't held a job since 2017. I'm not able to be the mom that I want to be. I'm 39. My mom has to talk to my doctors for me. It doesn't seem fair that my mom is taking care of me and me, not her. Dr. Beeler says that's not uncommon. Uh, it can be something where you lose work, you lose sleep, you lose relationship. According to experts, there needs to be more data gathered on molar ray meningitis, and that includes doing trials to figure out treatments. It can be very debilitating, and I think there are things that we can do for these patients to make them better over time. Right now, doctors typically prescribe antivirals to help patients cope, but there's no real treatment. Looking into the future, Beeler hopes more research will bring better approaches to decreasing the episodes altogether. This approach includes getting patients diagnosed correctly and quicker. Working for you, Troy Washington, RTV6. Some signs and symptoms of meningitis include headache, stiff neck, and fever. A doctor can get a diagnosis using a spinal tap.